Well, it, you know, it just shows you the resiliency of the kids. Uh, in all those games, uh, we scored late in the game to tie it up and put it in overtime. So it just tells you the resilience and the commitment that these kids have to work for 90 minutes. Well, one of the themes we've seen a lot this year is teams taking an early lead on you guys, but like you just talked about, the resilience. You don't give up. You're able to battle back in the last 14 minutes of the game. Caleb Eastham knocks home the equalizer. What's the? Do you draw it up that way or what? No, it's just hard work. I think the longer we play games, the kids have confidence in their, in their conditioning program and with our weight program and everything like that. And they have confidence that they can still finish out a 90-minute game and then if they have to play overtime. So it's just a compliment to the kids and how they play the game. And it may not be pretty at times, but it's effective. Well, Cincinnati's a pretty tough opponent. Going into their house and getting it, being able to claim a result has got to be a pretty important thing in your team's progress so far this season. It is. I mean, last year at this time we were 0-6. Uh, so where we're at right now, uh, I don't even know what our record is. It might be 2-2-2 or whatever it is. So that's a big turnaround from where we're at. So, it's, again, it's a commitment that the kids have every day in training, and, and it's paid off in uh, positive results. Well, one of the guys that's been the bright spots, Caleb Eason, scored again. It's three straight games he's netted a goal for the Norse. <laughs> What's it like to have a guy like him up front for you? Well, you know, he works his tail off. I mean, he tries to get open, and uh, he's, you know, he might be what you call a typical striker. He only strikes when balls get on his head. I think that might be the fourth goal he scored this year with his head. Uh, no, third goal. So it's, it's, it's just uh, he's a presence, and he helps us um, get, get into the attack a little bit better because we're not known for our offense. Um, balls played out wide to Nick McGregor. And I ran just flat against the back line, and he pinged a really good ball straight in. and. I just had to do the easy part and put it in the back of the net. Well, Coach complimented you saying that you've been using your head a lot scoring goals. Uh, that's yeah. something that you're accustomed to or do you prefer striking it with your foot? No, I'm usually I'm usually more of just striking it off the ground, but three out of the four goals has been with my head, so maybe I've found something new. Well, you've scored in three straight games, so you, it seems like you're really catching your form early on this yeah. season so far. Hopefully it doesn't, hopefully my luck doesn't run out.